Well, it's just rained outside. The skies are cloudy, it's gray, and we're here in the middle of winter. And I don't know about you, but for me, too many gray days does not do Trent good. I love me some good sunshine. Uh, and around here, um, it's typically nice and sunny, but actually May and June can be some of the worst months. We call it May gray and June gloom. So tip for you, if you're ever planning on vacationing in this area, that's not the best time. You think everybody wants to come in that period of time. They're like, why is it so gray? Well, the coastal clouds come in and all sorts of different things. Now, if you're in the Northwest or uh, Canada, Alaska watching this, you're like, please, I don't even want to hear it. It's like dark most of the year uh, at periods of time. And it's crazy what happens to us when we don't have enough sunlight. There's actually a disorder called SAD, Sudden Affective Disorder. It's when our mood starts to switch because of a lack of sunlight. Actually, what takes place is that lack of sunlight messes up our internal clock, our circadian clock, and we have a drop of serotonin, and it just completely messes us up. It's amazing how we need that light in our lives. And you think, well, we have all sorts of different light in our lives. You know, we've got LED light from our phones. We've got fluorescent light. We've got halogen light. We've got incandescent light, black light. But actually what they need to be able to fix this is UV light. UV light is what you typically get from the sun. It's part of what all of the sun gives us. So how does this impact us? Well, my name is Trent Jenkins. Thanks for joining us today for the Daily Doses. We're talking about being committed to God's Word. And when I think about this in the terms of light, I go to John chapter 1. Hey, I know we're going into John again. We just did a whole year in John, but there's still good content, and most of us forget it. So we're going to John chapter 1, verse 1. It says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. And then get this, in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. That Jesus came in as the word, as the flesh, and as the actual physical dwelling of all that God had promised, and that he was the light of all mankind. Now, when I'm talking about light in the physical sense, it's amazing how we think that just because we have something that's illuminating us, right now I've got this light shining on me, it illuminates me, that somehow that's going to end up helping me. It, it probably does to a certain extent, but it is a substitute for the authentic thing. It is a substitute. And we substitute elements for God's word in our life all the time. We try to get knowledge and wisdom from so many different places, whether it's your favorite podcast, your favorite book, or your favorite author. We get it from politicians or from news stations or all of these different sources. Now, there's a lot of great wisdom there. I'm not saying that there's not wisdom there, but it is a substitute for that which is God's word in our life. And I want to encourage you today, if you want to live an amazing 2024, forget 2024, the rest of your life, get this word in it. Let's stop substituting the great material that we could have in our lives that's going to lead us to a greater relationship with him and ultimately lead us to greater relationships with others because we are pouring, pulling from the greatest source there is, his word. Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to having you back next week.